I'm back, YouTube, I'm back. Got my internet back, and I've got a UU battle with you against Blizz. We're checking out his team. I see two major ice weaknesses in Salamence and Gligar. I see two ground weaknesses in Empoleon and Beedrill. And two psychic weaknesses in Beedrill and Nian Shao. And I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be a great battle. Pretty much, I want to make a team with Mega Ab, so I have never used it before. So, decided to go into it. He's going to start off with Mian Shao. I'm going to Weevil Fortress. Really need to change his name. But he's going to go for that fake out. Weevil doesn't care. We want left over. They're going to heal it back up anyways. Like, turn one all over again. But he's going to go for the knockoff. And I'm not okay with that. <clears throat> but it's okay. We're going to Volt Switch. We're going to get some Switch Initiative in there. And I'm going to go just straight into Bounty Bits. The Chandelure. Obviously, it's Scarf. Why? What other Chandelure would I run except... Bulky. We're looking to a bulky channel. But I'm gonna go for that Shadow Ball. He predicts that. We're straight with the Empoleon. I guess, I mean, it was a great prediction that I'm Scarf. Yes, obviously I'm Scarf. Empoleon's getting that special defense drop. That's nice. I'm gonna go into Jello. He's gonna scald me. Just... Jello doesn't like that. Now we're getting burned. Okay, that's cool. Jello doesn't like that either. Regardless, we really can't hurt each other in this situation, so I'm hoping he's gonna switch out. And just decided why the hell that was. I'm gonna go for some cocky spikes, lay these out, and it really doesn't do any good. He actually goes with a roar, and you know it wasn't a bad play. It wasn't bad. I'm gonna go on a weevil, and I expected him to roar again, but he goes for the skull, which should have been obvious. But I don't know. I guess I just wasn't thinking. This battle happened like a week ago. But I'm gonna get some rocks up. He's gonna go for that default life. Which, at least now I know he has the, uh, the skull for the default. But we're gonna hold switch, get that switch and get on again. And Empoleon's a big problem for my team. So we're gonna go into Red Rock, and only because it's my only Empoleon. Literally, only Empoleon counter. So, obviously he's gonna switch. I wanna go for the close combat just in case, but I can't. I don't wanna default here. Close combat's gonna hit the Clockguard. Clockguard just doesn't care. He's EV lighting, he's flying type, he's got defense EVs. He does not care. He does care about this taunt he's gonna get hit with because, again, I brought the wrong Infernape. I'm going for the Stealth Rocks, but I need to stop naming all my Infernape Red Rocket because I have like five of them and I keep bringing the same one because I keep putting it back in the same spot. But I'm also Blaze, so it really kind of helped out with the Focus Sash and whatnot. So I'm going for the uh, Flip Blitz. Get the crit, get the burn. Gligar's going. He's gonna go down. He goes to the U turn, misses it. Because, no target. Taunt wears off, and I'm like, okay, this is fine. I got a chance to get off Stab Soul. Now, I was gonna go for the Swords Dance, but I, he still has that Slurp Up, which I only have Knock Off and Soccer Punch for damaging attacks. So, I physically can't touch the Slurp Up. Now, I was like, alright, Glyph is gonna get I'll get a Switch into the Slurp Up. That's what I'm going to do. He goes into Salamence. And I'm like, ah, oh, I should have done it. He gets the Intimidate off. Empoleon's coming out, he's gonna come out and take a knockoff, and that's great. Because we're gonna knock lefties, I think it was. I don't know, I wasn't creative. We're gonna knock the lefties off. And I'm gonna predict the default here, just because he doesn't want my rocks up for that beach roll that mince. So we're gonna go for the sword stance and hit him with another hard knockoff. And that's great. I'm okay with that. Empoleon was I'm not gonna say a big threat, but it was a big tank for my team. Going back into Mian Shao, I know I'm plus one sword stand or plus one attack, but I still can't suck a bunch of things to death. Goes to the fake out, misses. I go to the shadow ball, get the crit. I have no idea if it mattered or not. Really, I actually have no idea. If someone could let me know, it'd be great. But uh, Beatles come out, and I'll give. Honestly, I'm so. I don't even know what I want to say. I'm so used to Beatles Mega evolving up protect, but he went for the knockoff. I never see Beedrill knock off. But he follows up with the drill run, which really confused me because I I don't know. I I think I was in killing range from pretty much anything I wanted to do. I guess it was expect he was expecting me to switch, but it wasn't worth it. Anyway, drill run missed, we got scald off, didn't get a burn, that's fine. He's gonna go into the slurp off. And I'm like Neat. Espeon's got this. Specs beyond that is. We're gonna go for the Sasha. That's gonna take a huge amount of health out, which I am very okay with. He uses the Citrus Berry, which does trigger the the shit, the Unburden. 
tries to use belly jump, doesn't work. Goes for the play rough. Weevil comes back off, and he's like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. But, whatever. He gets me in the Drain Punch. Weevil doesn't like that so much. I just want to get my rocks back up. I have no problem sacking forces here, so long as I can put a handicap on v drill Nets. But, or Forge is going to go down. I mean, it kind of had to happen. He's going to go for a player up, and luckily, Spexbeon eats it, man. Psyshot comes in, KOs the slurp up. And this thing puts in so much work. I love Spexbeon. v drill comes back out, and I expect a new turn. I'm like, alright, this is a new turn. Goes for the knockoff, because I forgot he had it. I'm really not used to seeing these. Like, dude, props. But that... Great. I like it. I like it a lot. We're gonna go to Stab Soul. And I know at this rate, I can take it out with Sucker Punch. It, should, it shouldn't even be a blah, 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 blah. Shouldn't even be a problem. Mance is coming out, though. We're gonna get hit with an Intimidate, and I'm not, I'm not particularly okay with that. I don't like that. But I'm gonna go for Sub predicting the Roost, and he actually stated on his side of the video this was a misclick, the, the Hydro Pump, because he was gonna go for the Roost. So, props for me, I guess. But I'm gonna go for the knockoff, finish off the Mance. Ugh. It's a great match. I really enjoyed it. I, I wish there were less hacks, but I really did enjoy it. Again, like, you'll find his Twitter handle, you'll, his YouTube, down below. Check him out, man. He's a great guy. Really entertaining. But again, I love a rematch. It was a lot of fun. I will see you guys next time. I have internet again. I'm going to be uploading everything. But, that's all, folks. See you next time.